The story is about a 26 year old mother of two, Lauren Howe, who was murdered by 27 year old Charlie Booth, the father of her two children in their home at Tennis Way, Belden, on the 24th of July 2002. Lauren Howe's sister Leah Howe was celebrating her birthday and invited Lauren over for some drinks. Lauren was in two minds but in the end agreed so Leah booked Lauren a taxi. Lauren left her home around quarter past 10, 10 20, heading to her sister's home Leah Howe. While on the way Lauren noticed she forgot her phone. Not long when Lauren arrived at Leah's home, Charlie Booth called Lauren's sister, aggressively demanding where Lauren was and was threatening to go to her house. In quote, I'm coming up to your effing house. After hanging up the phone on him, Charlie Booth followed up with a stream of angry text messages in which Leah replied with messages saying, LOL, I'd like to see you try. You don't know where I live, dickhead. Come on. Etc. As the night went on, Leah, Lauren and their brother Brandon decided to go to their cousin's house who was throwing a house party. While Lauren was enjoying her night, Charlie Booth was threatening and harassing Lauren's family, demanding where she was. As it was approaching 1am, Lauren's sister Leah was ready to go but Lauren wasn't, so Lauren stayed. Through the night, Leah continued receiving messages from Charlie Booth, messages saying, Leah, you effing brat. I'm gonna burn your house down. I'm gonna come out and smash your effing head in. And I'm gonna burn your house down with your kids in it. A little after 6.30 a.m., Lauren's cousin offered Lauren to sleep on the sofa, but Lauren decided to walk home, most likely fearing what would happen if she stayed longer. CCTV caught Lauren's journey home from time to time. One sighting was her on Harrogate Road and Green Gates, and the next walking along the canal. CCTV outside the home of Lauren Howe caught her entering her flat. Sometime later, Charlie Booth carried Lauren's lifeless body outside onto the terrace and laid her on the ground, which he then banged on the neighbor's door shouting that Lauren was not breathing, adding that him and Lauren was walking home from a house party and she banged her head, but gave a different account to the paramedics. He told them that she had come home covered in cuts and bruises and then collapsed. He changed his account numerous times, one account saying Lauren told him she took a overdose and the next saying she had fallen down the stairs. Shortly after Lauren arrived at the hospital, she was pronounced dead. Police arrested Charlie Booth on suspicion of murder. Charlie maintained throughout his interviews with police that he was innocent, claiming that Lauren must have been injured before she came home. Lauren had been hit with so much force to the abdomen that her liver had been torn open, leaving Lauren to internally bleed out. Also, bruises all over her face, marks to her neck and tear into the skin on the top of her scalp. Stevie Claire Hobson Kirtley, a good friend of Lauren Howe, takes the witness stand on behalf of Lauren. How did you get to know her? Through our children, all four of them went to the same school. Were you working July to August last year? Yes, I'm a cleaner. Told Lauren Howe didn't work, but Stevie said she might as well come to work with her. Get out the house, really. Lived a 10 minute walk from each other. Would you drink together, socialise in that way? Yeah, we would have a drink sometimes on a night. Go to the park, take the kids to the park and let them all loose, really. Did she tend to come to yours or you to hers? Yes, because me and Charlie didn't really see eye to eye. Thinking of July last year, were you aware he used cannabis and cocaine? Yes. Was that something you did? No. Not your thing at all? No. Did you see him smoking cannabis or taking cocaine? Yes. Asked about whether Lauren Howe ever spoke about how Charlie Booth was with her. They had their good days and bad days. Other days she didn't want to be near him, she said. I think it was more when he was on the drugs, they didn't get on at all. So she would try to stay away, basically. Did she tell you from time to time how he was with her? She was very secluded when she spoke about things at home, but there was one time she told me he had pinned her against the wall by the throat. Said Lauren Howe had a mark on her neck wore a scarf for a few weeks. Stevie asked about it. Lauren Howe told her it was play fighting with her brother. 
She just said she put his hands around her neck at one point when they'd had an argument at home. Did she tell you that happened one time or more than one time during this argument? Just the one time, I think, during this argument, but said it happened other times. Did she say he'd done anything else to her? No, she didn't elaborate on anything else. She just told me he had done that to his neck. Was there a reason Lauren Howe would not have the phone with her? I couldn't tell you. As far as I know, it was just a shared phone. You're describing times when he would have the phone. She was with you and your phone would be red hot. Yes. How was he on the phone? Was he polite? Not really. He would demand her to come home. How long she was going to be telling her to come home. Every time Lauren Howe was with Stevie, this would happen. Said Lauren Howe would sometimes answer and say she wouldn't be long or she'd let it ring out. Said three to four of the time she would go home because he wanted a cigarette or something and she'd give him what he wanted then come back again. Did you see yourself any violence? Yes, on two occasions. By that I mean from Charlie Booth to Lauren Howe. Yes. The first occasion. It was when me and Lauren Howe were having a few beers at my house with the kids playing and he came round and stole £10 off my coffee table, dining room table. Did he do anything in that first visit? No, he just acted casual because he was on drink and drugs then disappeared. Did it turn out he'd also taken something else without you realising? My house key. Once he had gone, what did you and Lauren Howe decide to do? It was Lauren Howe who said I don't want to be near him when he's on the drink and drugs because he turns violent. So she decided to stay at my house with the kids. Then we went to lock the door and the key had gone. I always keep it on the dining room table. So we went to a wooden board which was going to be for my dining room table and we used that to barricade the door. Stevie describing Charlie Booth coming back, getting through the door and Stevie and Lauren Howe going into the kitchen. Lauren Howe trying to persuade him to leave. He ended up punching Lauren Howe. I managed to get him into the hallway. He ended up squaring up to me. Saying it was around 7pm as the kids were still up. Stevie said he was effing and jeffing, means swearing. Was he friendly? No, very violent and angry. You said he punched Lauren. Did you see it connect and where did it connect with? It was in my kitchen and it was her right arm. Lauren trying to get all four children safe into the living room while Charlie Booth was squaring up with Stevie. Stevie managed to get into the living room thinking Lauren had all four kids in there with her. Wasn't until they were in there Stevie realised her youngest was still in the bedroom. Panicked, went to get them and Charlie Booth was still there. Were you telling him to leave? Yes, Lauren Howe was screaming at him to leave. Eventually Charlie Booth left, got vicious and violent again outside. He managed to throw me down three concrete steps outside my house. He managed to find a big concrete block and threw it at my head. Thankfully it missed my head by inches. Then he got the same brick and used it on the door. What brought this all to the end? Police sirens, because my youngest managed to ring the police. Lauren came around to Stevie just before 10am in the morning on her own. Stevie was just about to head off to work. When you got to work, did your phone start ringing? Yes, constantly. And who was ringing? Charlie Booth. What did you do with the phone? I gave it to Lauren Howe and told her to answer every time she needed to. Where were Lauren's children then? On holiday. Went on holiday for a week. So she and Charlie Booth was home alone? Yes. Charlie answered how long Lauren was going to be on the phone. Got home from work about 11.30am that morning with Lauren. Lauren helped Stevie clean the flat as Stevie's children had gone to their dads. Decided to have a few beers. Lauren went to the shop to get some. While she was out, did the phone ring again? Was it Charlie Booth again? Yes. Did you speak to him? I think so. I said she was out and she'd ring back. Was he after a cigarette? Yes. Stevie said Lauren bought her some cat litter back, took Charlie Booth a cigarette, then got more beers and come back to Stevie's. One of their other friends was at Stevie's. Did Charlie Booth turn up? He did, when Lauren Howe had gone again to get more beer on a bike. He turned up on a bike? Yes. Did he come into the flat? First he asked if Lauren Howe was there. I said she had gone to the shop and might as well wait in the flat. He wasn't allowed in the flat if my kids were there because they were petrified of him because what had happened. By about 8 in the evening, were you invited to go to another friend's house? Yes. Stevie was umming and ahhing about going but Lauren said they were having a games night so she might as well go. Lauren and Charlie Booth left at the same time, Stevie said. Was that the last you saw of her? Yes. Friday Hussein for the defence now to cross-examine. 
You've known Lauren Howe for a number of years. It's fair, isn't it, that you and Charlie Booth didn't like each other? Yes, we didn't really get on, see eye to eye. There was quite a lot of tension around you and Charlie Booth. Yes. Stevie saying Charlie Booth wasn't shy about letting on what he thought about her and vice versa. When Lauren Howe would spend time at your house, you would drink alcohol, wouldn't you? Yes. And Lauren Howe would spend a lot of time with you. Yes, yeah, she wanted to spend as much time away from home. Is that what she told you? Yes. So Charlie Booth would be on the phone, as you described. Where are you, Lauren? Come home. Yes. Friday Hussein saying he wanted her to come home and the kids to come home. The kids never wanted to go home either. Did you ever try to break them up? I don't think I ever did anything to break them up. I told her, you're fed up. I just said, if you're not happy, why are you with him? Did you ever say to her you had slept with Charlie Booth? That's not true, by the way, but did you ever say that? No. Were you not interfering in their relationship by suggesting what Lauren should do or shouldn't do? I wouldn't say so. I was just being a friend, just telling her she wasn't happy to leave. Had he been trying to call beforehand? Had he wanted Lauren Howe to come home? I couldn't remember. Now you can't remember precisely when this was, but you think it was some months before July? Yes. You had been at home with Lauren Howe and the children. You had alcohol, hadn't you? Yes, music on, the kids running round. Stevie said she was married. Friday Hussein saying they were more than married. Stevie said, probably. I suggest that's wrong. He didn't punch Lauren Howe. He did. He certainly wanted her to come home, but that wasn't happening, was it? She didn't want to go home anyway because he was on drink and the drugs. You were really angry with him, weren't you? I think it was the state he was in. I don't agree with drugs at all, and he was spending every penny on drugs. Who was telling you all of that? Lauren Howe? Yes. Frida suggesting Charlie Booth was outside the property wanting to speak to Lauren Howe but that Stevie wouldn't let her speak to him from the balcony. Stevie saying she wouldn't stop her from doing such a thing. The children. He wanted the children to come home, didn't he? Probably. When you stumbled down the stairs, because you stumbled down the stairs, didn't you? <laughs> okay. Do you know anything about Lauren Howe being arrested on this occasion? She was arrested at home, as far as I'm aware. Were you there? No. The problem was for some time Lauren Howe was spending a lot of time at your house with you. He would ring because he wanted her to go home. She spent a lot of time with me because she never wanted to go home. You've said that? Yes. Children spending a lot of time there until 11pm at some point, Friday Hussein suggested. That's the cross-examination over, but Nicholas Lumley from the prosecution team has a few more questions to ask. Nicholas Lumley re-examining quickly. You said you told her to leave him? Yes. Was that once or...? Quite a lot. Stevie saying she couldn't because she had nowhere to go. Tried to kick him out but he wouldn't leave. Said Charlie Booth's dad said he was going to help her get into a hostel so she could leave him without him knowing where he was. Thank you for supporting the channel and we hope you like the content. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe.